Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kimberly Joy, and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. Before I go any further, I have to acknowledge God. Ha Hallelujah. God, you are wonderful. You are amazing. There is no one like you, God. I thank you. I thank you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy, God. I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you, God, for another opportunity to just share an inspiring message with, message with someone. God, I thank you for every listener right now. Lord God, I pray that as I share this message, I pray, God, that if they have any dreams, God, any goals, God, that, that they desire, God, I pray, God, that this message will inspire them, God, to move forward, to just put all their faith, all their trust in you, God, knowing, God, that you will see them through, God, knowing, God, that your purpose for their lives will be done. And Lord, I pray for those who are not saved. I pray that by the end of this broadcast, that they will make the decision to accept you, Jesus, as their Lord and Savior. God, I love you. I thank you. And I praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, first, I have an announcement. I would like to invite you all to a play I'm going to be in next month. Power and Faith Theatrical Players presents Who Told You? It will be Saturday, March 2nd at 6 p.m. Doors open at 530. The location is Power and Faith Ministries, 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, 45014. And here's a brief summary of the play. The Dream Killers who have been working tirelessly against humanity since the beginning of time, are finally being brought to justice for destroying the dreams of countless individuals. Prosecutor Janet Justice, which is portrayed by myself, will present strong evidence against these entities. Will the evidence be enough to hold up in the court of truth? Tickets are $10 in advance and $15 at the door. For tickets, you may call me at 513-417-0097. You may also go to eventbrite.com. And when you go to that site, in the box that says event, just type in who told you. This play is written and directed by Sylvia Woods. Who Told You is an inspiring play reminding us that there is no limit to what we can do. Your dreams are only limited by you. Now, for this week in black history, I want to recognize a, a woman who is known for blending gospel with smooth jazz and contemporary r and I'm talking about the one and only Yolanda Adams. Yolanda Yve Yvette Adams was born on August 27, 1961 in Houston, Texas. She was the eldest of six children. Their parents, Major and Carolyn Adams, were both teachers. Major and Carolyn raised their children in a solid Christian home. When Yolanda was only three years old, she sang her first church solo. Her mother, Carolyn, was a music major in college, and she played the piano. Because Carolyn loved music so much, she exposed her children to a variety of music, including gospel, jazz, classical music, and rhythm and blues. Yolanda says gospel singers James Cleveland and the Edwin Hawkins singers, jazz singer Nancy Wilson, and R&B singer Stevie Wonder. She says they have all had major influences in her life. At age 13, Yolanda joined the Southeast Inspirational Choir. After Yolanda graduated from Sterling High School in 1979, she went to college at Texas Southern University. After Yolanda got her degree, she taught second and third grade. But on the weekend, she continued singing and she even modeled part-time. In fact, Yolanda actually wanted to become a professional model, but she soon realized her true calling. She resigned from teaching and became a full-time lead singer for the, South, for the Southeast Inspirational Choir. Yolanda's real break came in 1987 when she released her first solo album entitled just as I am. This album was produced by Thomas Whitfield on Sound of Gospel Records. Three years later, producer and keyboardist Ben Tankard signed Yolanda to his independent label, Tribute Records, and released her second album entitled Through the Storm. Now this particular album offered a smoother gospel jazz sound. 
Over the next eight years, Yolanda released other successful albums and won Dove, Stellar, and Soul Train Awards. Then, in 1999, Yolanda signed with Elektra Records. Now, this was a smart move because this record label exposed her to more of a mainstream audience. According to ThoughtCode.com, when Elektra released her album, Mountain High Valley Low, the album went multi-platinum, she won several awards, including her first Grammy, and she successfully made the crossover to the secular market without watering down or compromising the gospel message. On this album, her hit single, Open My Heart, was produced by the famous duo, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Not only did this album rise to the top of the gospel charts, but it topped out at number five on the R&B charts. In 2001, Yolanda and her then husband, financial advisor and former NFL player, Tim Crawford had a baby girl and they named her Taylor Crawford. In 2005, Yolanda founded the Voice of an Angel Foundation. It is a charity designed to provide mentoring programs for underprivileged youth. In 2007, Yolanda proved that she was more than just a singer when she launched the Yolanda Adams Morning Show. This show was the first daily gospel radio show to be nationally syndicated. Yolanda used her show to promote health and wellness, and she addressed health challenges that black children face like juvenile diabetes. Although her radio show was very successful, it was canceled in 2016. However, Yolanda didn't let that stop her. That same year, she returned to radio. Now, the Yolanda Adams Morning Show can be heard locally in Houston, Texas, and worldwide via the internet. In addition to having 14 albums, Yolanda has a book called Points of Power. She also has a bath and body line called Simply Yolanda. And check this out. She even has her own brand of coffee. And ladies, she has handbags. All of these items can be purchased on her website, YolandaAdamsLive.com. I share the story of Yolanda Adams because she is truly an inspiration. From the moment she stepped into the spotlight, she has never allowed anyone to put her in a box. Whether it's music or fashion, Yolanda has always had her own unique style. Plus, as you can see, she's not afraid to step out of her comfort zone and try new things. But what I personally admire most about Yolanda Adams is her perseverance and courage. Now, I didn't talk about it, but Yolanda has been open about being a survivor of domestic violence. And despite what she has gone through in the past, huh, it's like what the Apostle Paul declared in Philippians 3 and 14. Yolanda Adams continues to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And you know what else? I encourage you to do the same. To learn more about Yolanda Adams, you may go to encyclopedia.com, informationcradle.com, newreleasetoday.com, thoughtsco.com, and yolandaadamslive.com. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins, were buried, and rose again for my liberty. Please forgive me for my sins. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. I am now saved. I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to our church, Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We are at 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, Ohio, 45014. S Sunday School, 9 a.m. Sunday Service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible Study, 7 p.m. You can catch my show again on Saturdays at 6 p.m. You may donate to The Kimberly Joyce Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal.me slash The Kimberly Joyce Show. For questions, comments, prayer requests, or to book me for speaking engagements, please email The Kimberly Joyce Show at gmail.com or call 
417-407-0097. You may follow The Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and thekimberlyjoy.com. My personal motto is know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. And now here's Yolanda Adams with that hit single, Open My Heart.